Okay, student, the next elements of supplies in the filing storage is label. Okay, what is the label? Label is actually the device that containing the name of the contents of a folder, drawer, or the container. So, dia adalah, or we can see that, okay, labels is actually identify the drawer, the shelf, and also the folder content. In the file itself, kita ada here. This is label. Okay, this is a label for the folder level to identify. This is the identifying apa yang ada dekat dalam. Okay, this is what we call label for the file, for the folder. And inside the folder itself, okay, we also have the what we call the label on the tab. Alright, so. We can have a look at several types of uh, the labels that we have here. Basically, we have the, the drawer label, the shelf label. These two for drawer and the shelf level is actually for the storage punya level. Okay, dekat mana tempat kita simpan uh, file tersebut. Contohnya, kalau dekat-dekat rak, so kita akan dekat rak tu, dia akan ada label. Okay, kalau kita simpan dekat dalam drawer, Okay, dekat drawer tu sendiri pun akan ada label. Kenapa kita perlu ada all this? Sebab it will help us, okay, to know apa content yang ada dekat dalam rak tersebut. Apa content yang ada dekat dalam drawer tersebut without we open it. Okay, somehow kita nak cari. Bila kita nak cari, kita perlukan identifying. Okay, identifications of the other uh, file itself. Alright, not only that, we also have the guide label. Okay, the guide labels maksudnya yang dekat dalam fal tersebut lah yang saya tunjuk tadi. This is what we call the guide label. Okay, dekat setiap guide tu, pembahagi divider ni, kita ada label untuk memudahkan kita mencari. Instead of kita kena semak ke semuanya. And the last type of the label is a folder label. For the label yang I sebut tadi, dekat depan ni. Okay, setiap folder ataupun setiap fal, dia akan ada that label. Alright? So, um, I would like to show to you over the internet here. Okay, uh, basically here I have a googling. Okay, this one a file cabinet drawer label. Okay, this is for example the drawer label. Okay, drawer, bila buka drawer ni, drawer untuk A. Okay, so yang dekat dalam ni kita panggil apa? This one kita panggil divider. So, kita panggil the the guide. Okay, dia tak panggil divide, uh, guide ataupun uh, divider lah. Tapi in our, uh, apa ni, in our syllabus, kita panggil, instead of panggil separator ataupun guide, kita panggil dia sebagai, eh sorry, instead of we call it as a uh, divider or separator, kita panggil dia sebagai guide. So, this guide is been labeled. So, this what we call the label, the guide label. Okay. So, as you can see here, for the drawer, dia ada insertion punya pedal. Okay, dia akan pasang pedal ni untuk insert lah what are the label for each of the 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 draw uh, what the content of the drawer itself. Okay, contohnya this one yang ni simple yang ni household punya housework, car, mobile, bank, util utilities. So dia ada label for each of the drawer. So kita tahu kalau kita nak cari maklumat tentang utilities, so kita open the last drawer. Uh, that is the functions. Okay. That is a simple lah uh, for the for the company or the business uh, entity. Kita tak akan ada this kind lah sebab dia lebih specific kepada business. Alright. So you imagine we have a lot of drawer here. So without uh, without have the identifying identifications of the drawer, each of the drawer, we will have a difficulty and it will take time from us to retrieve uh, the information that we want. Alright. So the next one is uh, that one is a drawer. While this one, I want to show to you the examples of uh, or what we call the examples of um, the shelf. Okay, this one as you can see here. Okay, uh, on the shelf, yani setiap file perasan tak ada label. Okay, yani kita lebih kepada uh, label folder label. Okay, this is a folder label. Alright. So, next, this one is uh, the shelf label. Okay, you nampak dekat shelf ni, dekat rock ni, dia ada uh, fiction A, fiction B. Ataupun dia letak macam gini, non-fiction. Okay, ataupun like this. On the side lah, they usually will have on the side. 
okay the divider so you'll be easily if you want to go for search for b friction b you will not go here you will go that side so but you data nampak that it is the section level for that that this is more on the section level okay guys i hope that you you can see the different different uh different types of the labels that i want to highlight here okay again remember when we talk about uh the label itself label is referring to the what we call the identify the drawer shaft or the folder content so it be easier for you to search all right and this will be the examples of the drawer label the function definitely to identify the drawer content untuk untuk petunjuk kepada uh, apa isi drawer tersebut and usually the label caption in is, is the label caption okay what is the label caption label caption is the center on the tab on the label at which somehow we type or the computer printed in all capitals without punctuation okay ada setengah-setengah drawer uh, drawer ni uh, okay kita panggil dia uh, uh, kita ada label caption kalau kita guna label caption maksudnya kita guna alphabet saja kita tak ada that kind of uh, 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 the other punctuation okay however it uh this label caption are divided into two ada dua jenis okay sama ada dia open caption ataupun close close caption kalau open caption ni dia tunjuk dia hanya tunjuk uh, huruf permulaan okay on that particular range container contain in the drawer contohnya drawer pertama saya okay drawer pertama saya yang ni untuk a hingga b eh sorry a hingga c okay untuk drawer yang pertama ni Okay, A in the C. Tapi saya hanya label dia sebagai A sahaja. Ha, tak ada A hingga C. Tak ada. Dia hanya A sahaja. So, kalau saya letak A sahaja, itu adalah open caption. So, lab, uh, draw pertama, A, A, saya letak A. Tapi content dekat dalam ni, A in the C. Okay, macam mana saya nak tahu dia A in the C? So, draw yang dekat bawah ni pula, dia tulis D. So, saya tahu draw pertama A in the C. Walaupun dia tak tulis A hingga C. Sebab dia tulis A kat bawah adalah D. So, saya nak cari uh, file yang bersifat dengan C. Contohnya, cost revenue, cost and revenue file. So, saya akan cari dekat drawer pertama. Sebab apa? Sebab apa kat bawah ni adalah D. Okay, that kalau kita guna A, D dan sebagainya. That one kita panggil open caption. Okay, dia hanya show the beginning of the alphabetic range. Okay. How if, uh, for example, like this. However, for closed caption, it will show the beginning and also the ending alphabet, alphabetic range of the correspondent in the drawer. So, okay, instead that you have A, B just now, okay, drawer you, okay, you indicate like A. So, I will show you just now after this here. Sorry, D. A in the C. This is D, F, D, E, F, E, H, K. So, I show you like this. Okay. Instead, uh, if you have uh, uh, the label with A, D, F, this is what we call the open caption. But if like you you have uh, the beginning and ending A in the C, D in the E, F in the H. So this one kita panggil the closed caption. Sebab we indicate the beginning and the ending range alphabetic for that particular drawer. Okay. Okay. For example, like on the screen A. A hyphen D. So, that particular drawer ada maklumat file yang title the A hingga D. Okay. So, that is a drawer label. How about the shelf label? Shelf label means that label tu, uh, it's not like this ya. Yeah? Shelf label yang saya tunjuk tadi. Okay, this, uh, yang ni salah ni. Okay, saya padam. Okay, shelf label ni yang this one. Okay, dia dekat sebelah CC. Uh, F, G, A, B, Z, 7, 0, 0, 8, 0, 0. Okay. This is the shelf level. Alright. The shelf level, if you hear uh, here, okay. 
is is also same like uh just now for the drawer label is depend on the uh, whether you use the open caption or the closed caption okay and next is the guide label okay not only the drawer and also the the shaft will have the label but the guide also will have the label which is the divider on the file or the separator in the file they will have their label okay it should be fit in the size of the tab ah okay beza dia sebab itulah kata bila you nak decide uh, supplies apa yang you nak guna untuk ben, uh, untuk create satu folder you kena fikirkan up, uh, keperluan okay contohnya kalau you pilih tadi one third uh, maksudnya ada tiga tab so tab tu akan jadi besar so bila besar maksudnya label dia boleh panjang tapi kalau you choose uh, like mine like this sorry again for example, mine is they have a 10 cut. Okay, they have a 10 cut. Okay, here, 10, ten cut. So, they, this 10 cut, label dia akan jadi kecil sedikit. Okay, ruangan. So, label ni bergantung kepada ruangan tab yang ada. That's why they kata should fit the size of the tab and accommodate the reference information type or printed on them. Okay, label dia hanya label sahaja. Tapi apa yang tulis dekat atas label tu kita panggil caption afterwards. Okay. For example, this is label. Warna, warna, uh, okay, this one. I tunjuk eh. This one yang I uh, draw ni adalah tab. Okay, atas tab ni kita ada this label. And this label, this one contoh label warna biru. Label warna kuning. Label warna hijau. Label warna merah. Tapi apa yang kita type dekat atas ni kita panggil caption okay this one caption march this one caption february okay this is will be related on the next slide regarding on the caption so here nampak tak kita ada a uh, guide label warna uh, warna purple guide label warna blue green and then for this one for the yellow this one more kepada on the uh, indigo uh, warna jingle all right so each of the, the 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 guide will have this label okay and what will written down here is what we call uh, again is a caption contohnya pasal blog is regarding on a blog all is a medical financial this is a caption personal caption home caption and etc right so for the label will be placed okay in the label are placed on the front of the tab okay and wrap around the tab. Okay, so ni kita akan wrap around the tab itself. Okay, and here uh, uh, about captions, I will continue in the next video.